The world's largest agricultural exposition is back and features some of the latest in cutting-edge technology. Nearly 30,000 acres and burning here in Mariposa County. And the sad part here, 25 homes lost in this fire. In Mariposa, I'm Justin Willis for NBC Bay Area News. Well, Pamela, earlier this morning, Chancellor Charles Reed discussed a plan of action to address the proposed $584 million reduction that's going to affect everyone from the chancellor himself all the way down to the students. We know to return to duty. Now, with two shooting scenes out here, this investigation will obviously continue through the afternoon. And, of course, we'll bring you much more on this off officer involved shooting investigation in later editions of KC24 News. We're live in Southwest Fresno. Justin Willis, KC24, Central Valley's news station. Faith, imagine swimming or riding a bike and without the use of your hands and only one foot. Well, Matthew Lane of Porterville is doing it all and with more energy than most of us. People in the valley say their wallets are taking a hit because of the high gas prices. So they're leaning on alternative methods of transportation, like the bus. <laughs> Talking about canal safety for Beat the Heat Week. And if you saw earlier how dangerous these waters can be, they might look refreshing. Like I said, a controlled environment. They hike into the depths of the wilderness with garbage bags and sickles every time an illegal marijuana grow site has been eradicated. And they say that as long as there's a need for cleanup, they'll keep coming back. In the Sierra National Forest, Justin Willis, KC24, Central Valley's news station. But first, Justin. Oh. 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 It didn't work. One more in the Dawkins training camp coming up after the break. <laughs> <laughs> and he finishes hard. There he goes. <laughs> that's, that's not Justin. Well, he did it, folks. Right. Here he is now. Oh. That was not you. Man, that, that was Man, not just... you. <laughs> and I got to thank my stunt double, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Faith! <laughs> no, I'm fine. Really, it's cool. <laughs> And should the suspect take off, that's what's going to happen with the dog. Um, ow. I, I just need to let off some steam. <laughs> we'll have more sunrise after the break. <laughs> Earlier this morning, Chancellor Charles Reed discussed a plan of action to address the proposed $584 million reduction that's going to affect everyone from the chancellor himself all the way down to the students. Now, in their plan of action, CSU officials say their goals are to continue to serve students and to save jobs. Other options? Employee furloughs, enrollment cuts, student fee increases, and campus-by-campus -campus cuts to meet the reduction. The CSU system has proposed a two-day per month furlough for all 47,000 of its employees, including the chancellor. And they will reduce travel, they will freeze positions, they will reduce uh, maintenance and repair, uh, they will cut large purchases, and they'll reduce their budgets every way that they possibly can uh, during this year to get to the $584 million reduction. Now, as for students, quarterly campuses have closed admissions for the 2010 winter term, but students who applied for admission before July 6th are eligible for enrollment. Also, the CSU Board of Trustees will consider a 20% fee increase for students next Tuesday. Now, this plan of action comes as funding for CSU is expected to be $1.6 billion, which is $500 million below what the state provided 10 years ago. But since then, student enrollment has grown by about 100,000 to its current level of nearly half a million students. In the newsroom, Justin Willis, KC24, Central Valley's news station. Justin Willis continues our On the Map series tonight with an in-depth look. Well, this week we're on the Fresno Canal here next to McKinley Avenue, probably the midsection of an intricate water system that's responsible for the birth of many towns and cities across the valley. 
a water system that began back in the 1800s with a man by the name of Moses Church. This is so vital to every part of life as we know it, and Moses Church really started it. He's known as the father of irrigation in the Central Valley. He came to California in the 1850s during the gold rush. Having diverted water for mining purposes at that time, Moses Church saw the potential for irrigating crops. He was later employed by a wheat farmer, A.Y. Easterby, who needed Church's help to bring water to the Easterby Ranch. This required the construction of a canal in 1870, the Fresno Canal. His source, the Kings River. He began delivering water in 1871 and 72, and it proved the land was fertile beyond all comprehension, tremendously productive. Church opened up a section of the Kings River up near Trimmer Springs Road and brought the water along Fancher Creek out to the center of the valley, creating a sort of oasis in what was once considered a barren wasteland. This influx of cultivation caught the eye of former governor and university founder Leland Stanford, who recognized this area's potential in agriculture. To locate a town very close to the Easterby Ranch, they changed plans to uh, make their division point, their headquarters for the area at where Herndon is now located on the San Joaquin River and instead founded a new town in 1872 called Fresno. Dozens of canals or church ditches as they were later called were built and branched off of the Kings River and soon other towns sprouted up and drank of these ditches. Clovis, Reedley, Hanford and Kerman to name a few. Irrigation, bringing water in, moving water around made the land worth settling. But bringing water to the valley was not without its obstacles for Moses Church. He was at odds with cattlemen in the Centerville area over use of the same water he needed for Easterby's ranch. His canal had to cross their primary resource, the Centerville Ditch. There were four subsequent unsuccessful assassination attempts on Church's life. A deal was struck later on. Free water for all time. And to this day, there's a little water district in Centerville called the Free Water County Water District that takes water out of the Fresno Canal, thanks to Moses Church, that is absolutely free and on demand to the people of Centerville. The Fresno Irrigation District was founded in 1921. Its canal is carved out with a horse-drawn device called the Fresno Scraper. The district's canal system now runs like veins on the valley's skin, with the water being used for metropolitan areas like Fresno and Clovis, for groundwater recharge, fishery management, and environmental services. So you can see where originally the one canal was meant to bring water for farming purposes. Now that water is being utilized in many, many different areas. Without that water and the other great canal systems and water storage features, the reservoirs that we have, it absolutely would not be possible to sustain the way of life that we know. It would not be possible to feed the world as we do. With KC24 on the map on the Fresno Canal, I'm Justin Willis.